everybody. So today I'm here to review the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now before you get excited, this mascara is actually inspired by the curves of a woman's body. The outer tube of the packaging is sort of the color of a nice sheer silk, maybe even a metallic thread silk teddy. Kind of like embossed letters right here just on top. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, plain and simple, you can't forget the name. A lovely hourglass wand that the, this is why they claimed they named it Too Faced Better Than Sex, because it's supposed to be all about the woman's body. The wand is made of nylon fibers and curves right in the center, which does allow for some ease so that the brush can grip your lashes and make them longer and fuller. The first mascaras I have seen that promises a full set of multi-dimensional lashes curled long and fuller all in one little bottle. For some of my viewers who are interested, this mascara is a cruelty-free and paraben-free lovely mascara. This mascara can clump up quickly depending on some people's lashes. Everybody's lashes, hair, and body all have a different sort of makeup and chemistry. So different products will work for different people. As far as giving you those kind of three in one puffed up, curled up, lovely long thick lashes. This does the job for me. For the first time in a long time, I can wear this mascara alone and not feel like I need lashes to get that extra bit of a fancy, dramatic style look. So in that sense, I really do love this mascara. On the other hand, I have very sensitive eyes and I could tell this mascara is on. I would say that this and Gifted are along the same lines for me as far as um, comfort or discomfort goes, but I would get this again. We're trying the Tarte Gifted again. This mascara does not give me that spider lash look. It's very easy to pull the mascara through, so you don't have to go in with safety pin please do not do that ever the actual thickness of the brush goes um, I know some people would probably have some reservations about purchasing this if they have thin or short lashes but I think if you keep your eyes shut and just work the mascara brush up through the center the narrowest part of the brush you will see those results you want now whenever I'm dealing with a very large wand and I need precision without getting the mascara through my beloved eyeshadow look, I like to turn the brush vertical and work it this way to get a little bit of length. I'll do the same thing and sort of tint the bottom. Over the course of this year, I have consistently tried a wide variety of mascaras, none of well, most of which I hadn't fallen in love with, and many that I had to put aside after a couple weeks of use. I could already tell a difference in this tune from the time I bought it, not in a bad way. I could just tell the formula has slightly dried because I've had it for over a month and a half now. So I would repurchase this. I definitely love this. I think it's worth every $21. As far as wearability of this mascara goes, yes, I think you can wear it with casual looks. I think mascara is always appropriate. Makes you look a little bit more awake. The longer the lashes, the better in my opinion, since it's not actual false lashes. I think it's very appropriate and very feminine and gorgeous. Does this mascara flake? That's the point I want to get to as far as clumping and how many coats to wear goes. You don't need to wear too much of this mascara. You don't need to wear too many coats of any mascara, really, because it will just clump up your lashes, make them look overly black, and you're not fooling anybody. Everybody knows that you're completely caked with mascara. If you do too many coats, then your lashes can handle. Plus, it'll weigh them down, and it will just look like a black, chunky mess. If you really want full, fake, black looking lashes, you're going to have to go the route of the false lashes. I'm very sorry to say this, but it just looks a lot better than wearing the Tammy Faye Baker style too much mascara. I hope that you enjoyed my review of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I love the names Too Faced decides to choose Badois palette, Too Faced Better Than Sex, Too Faced Size Queen. Yes, it seems a little bit racy, but when you see the products themselves, it all kind of comes together. And the in innuendos that go with it, absolutely hilarious. But come on, I absolutely love cute, fun, adorable names. They're, they're more fun to say. Happy holidays, 
and I'm taking requests for Christmas. So I might go up to four videos a week. We shall see, depending on my requests. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Go ahead and do a review for this um, product for you guys because um, it would make a great uh, stocking stuffer depending on your stocking stuffer price point or a Christmas gift for makeup lovers. And this particular tube also comes in the Too Faced Christmas palette, um, a few of my favorite things, and then I think at least one or two other kits in a small size. Um, and so um, this mascara coming with those kits may or may not be the reason you would like to have to like to have our own. I'm trying to combine that word. Hove. Hove? Yeah, whatever. Anyways, so that this mascara is coming with a lot of Christmas kits this year and it may or may not want to, it may or may it may it may be Whoa.